going on YouTube? We are on our first video in about 10,000 years. I know it has been a very, very long time since I put a video up. Super busy, a lot of things going on, and unfortunately, this is the first thing that sometimes gets cut when it comes to editing and recording and all that stuff. But nonetheless, we are headed to Jordan's to do a transmission rebuild. So here's Allison was showing some signs of failure was pretty much right around the corner. It was kind of a matter of time before the thing was gonna just uh, have a nice catastrophic failure. We were feeling like a converter surge. So basically when you're, you're really, your converter's locked up, you're on the highway and you get on and it's like, kind of like shaking a little bit. As you know, it's like a converter shutter almost. So that was a huge telltale sign. And then some metal in the uh, pan when we drained some oil was another one. So get the old crap out of there, get the new stuff in there. And this thing, we're preparing for the future here. This thing is gonna be a thousand horsepower plus capable build. Uh, they don't really rate it because there's nothing else you can put in this thing from Suncoast. So, could it be 1,200, 1,300 capable? I, I don't know. I'm assuming so. They just say plus because it, literally everything is done. But I'll shut up. I'll quit talking. That's not the fun part of it. We'll get over the Jordans and then start looking into all the stuff we got. I did forget that we are taking this truck out of here. The uh, lift needs to be used for something else. So, we got the Kubota here. We're going to drag it outside. We did start tearing into this last night. All we did was a simple pump rub kit. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, I put it all up on my Instagram. And actually, you know what? If you aren't following me yet, guys, what are you doing? All my content is over there. If, if you enjoy the videos here, I should say, you will love my content on Instagram. Right here's my username, at Mark underscore Decola, pretty simple. And basically, every day I have a story up there, all kinds of posts. Every post, I try and help you guys with information on your truck, or at least, pertain to people that have trucks to follow me. So let's catch up to speed with what's going on here. Now here is the lovely, lovely set of everything. There is uh, quite a bit of stuff here. Kind of a brief rundown of it all. We have all the gear oil there, or the transmission oil there, internal pan, external, or filter there, filter there, uh, hub here, planetary there, sun gear, clutches, more clutches, some steels. We have the billet input shaft, billet intermediate shaft, and billet output shaft. So all three of them. This is gonna be a thousand horsepower plus capable build like I was saying. So when you start hitting those numbers, you have to really make sure you have all three of those shafts and billet. Uh, steels here, if I didn't catch that already. Wiring harness when it sits in that pan, covered in oil, all that stuff. Uh, some things start to go bad and crack. So Suncoast just goes ahead and gives you a whole new harness. Transgo shift kit, pretty simple. Just some pins, springs, drill out some holes. Uh, nothing too crazy there. That's just gonna basically mechanically boost our line pressure inside of there. Uh, seals, 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 seals. Uh, I believe these are converter bolts, yes. Seals, seals, and seals, and gaskets, and gaskets upon gaskets. And then right here is our sheet for our torque spec, so you can kind of check out all the different stuff we're going to be dealing with there. This is definitely going to come in handy. Uh, more clutches over here. These are all Raybestos clutches. That's what they use in their kits. Some genuine Allison parts here. That was a bearing. Uh, over here we have some steels up top. I believe clutches on the bottom. Some steels with that as well. Transfer case, we did the pump rub kit the other day. Pretty simple, I mean, all you do all you do is split this right down the middle. Uh, you go in and kind of change the pump so that it doesn't rub a hole in the very bottom of this thing here because once that hole forms, all the fluid drains out of it, obviously. So we got that all sealed back up. Looks like that dried nice overnight. Pulled off the bell housing. And that's pretty much where we are right now. We got the Allison manual over here on the computer. And then there's about a 30 page booklet of instructions. So the, the meat of what's gonna go on here is all within here and here. I mean, originally this thing came out to like up here and then you put the transfer case on the back and the thing's like, looks like a rocket ship. I'll show you a picture of that right now. You can see literally just about as tall as Jordan's there. So we're gonna start tearing into this and I'll just kinda, I think the easiest way to do this 
it's just slowly as time goes on whenever we make some progress whenever there's parts laying across here as you see there's nothing here okay three seals sorry when parts start coming in we'll go ahead and just throw them on the table and then i'll catch up to you guys with slow updates throughout there because if i try and do every single seal we're going to be here till christmas so we dropped the pan here and the internal filter used to sit right up in there drop that off as well a lot of stuff going on in a tiny little spot here this whole thing is considered the valve body down in the here is your wiring harness they say that the connectors are prone to cracking and they become very brittle and just kind of looking at it feeling them i mean you figure they're soaked in this pretty abrasive fluid down here you're shifting solenoids all that stuff your gear selectors over here right now we are in neutral valve body is out pulled that out wasn't too bad just some bolts holding that in i'll show you guys and the key to this whole oh we did take the pump off as well the key to this whole operation is to stay clean and stay organized i know a lot of people will say that the slightest bit of dirt keep it clean don't let anything in there so kind of label everything from the the orientation away this is on the transmission itself and then just putting everything out the bolts all in the correct order where they'd be at on this actual valve body itself so now we're going to go ahead and start pulling shafts out and i'm going to get this all on video because that'll be fun to watch all this stuff come out Transmission is now completely empty. Basically, just a nice cast piece of aluminum with some machining inside of there. Some of the parking stuff and drive gear selected and all that, but this is going to stay in there. It's not going anywhere. It's we're not obviously modifying that. So let's take a little walk around of all the parts we got. We had some O-rings to start. We had the pump here, the oil pump. Basically, this is getting taken apart. We got to do some modifying to this. C1, C2 clutches, little bearing there. More of the parking paw and all that stuff there. Here's, this is the intermediate shaft more of those as well we are replacing one of them one of the planetaries with the sun coast here more steels and clutches stacked on top of each other there you can see a bunch of that little uh, little bit of dirt to these a little bit of wear more steels planetaries and then just a bunch of snap rings and I'll tell you guys what these snap rings are not fun to get off if I have any suggestion to you for you doing these Besides the fact to stay organized and stay clean, as you see, we took organization to a new level. Make sure that you have something to get these off. We kind of worked our way around with screwdrivers, and it was a lot harder than it needed to be. But snap ring pliers that are absolutely massive go a long way. Steels, clutches, and you can see there's quite a bit of wear on these and dirt and whatnot. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to pick that up. Just stacked on top of each other there. And then we, let's see, we came that way, around this way. Back on the here, this is what the PTO would run off of, right through here. If you had something like, say you had a uh, rollback for a truck, you wanted to be a tow truck or something like that, you go ahead and run your power off of that. And then we had the valve body itself, like we showed earlier, all the bolts for that. And then ran out of space, came over here. Here's the two PTO covers that were on the outside of the housing. There's some Sunco stuff here, we're starting to kind of walk into assembly more clutches as well seems like the deeper we got into clutches the, the dirtier they were and whatnot so now it's basically just kind of going along with the Suncoast manual and doing what they say and starting to put this thing back together when putting your new clutches or they call them frictions back in there first we're making sure they're nice and clean and then putting them in transmission fluid and letting them soak for about a half hour is that what they say jordan yeah half hour half hours worth of soaking and then we can go ahead and install them alternating between steels friction steel friction I'll show you on the uh, instructions here kind of what we're dealing with six frictions and then three steels so pretty much alternating ending with or uh, alternate with steels ending with the friction 
that for tonight is gonna be about a wrap. Uh, we like I said, we stopped here. We got a clutch pack in the very bottom, back underneath there, if you can even see it. But we're gonna have to call Suncoast and talk about some stuff. We're not a hundred percent sure on some things, and rather than the dig into this thing or bury ourselves into it and then find out one little thing is wrong, we're just gonna wait, ask the pros, and then go ahead and proceed with it. So. Jordan's just cleaning up a plate now, getting a gasket off there. But I think that's going to do it for today. Uh, there's going to be like a series of videos here. So this is the first one of probably two or three. We'll figure it out. Probably three, maybe even four, to be honest. I'm not sure. So thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up button. Thanks again, and we will see you on the next video.